One day at my local Target, I saw a cube I had never seen before, the Rubik's Apprentice, and it looked really easy. So I just have to get this cube because on the box it says that the challenge level is the easiest it can possibly be, and yeah, it looks like it. So it's a really small two by two. It turns a tiny bit better than you'd expect a Rubik's brand to. Kind of feels like one of those East Sheen 2x2s from back in the day. It comes with this huge instruction pamphlet. So there's three different levels and I'm gonna be trying out all of them. So there's level one where you have to solve both the layers but orientation doesn't matter. There's level two where orientation does matter because of the circle here. And there's level three where orientation matters on both layers, I guess. So I guess it's time to scramble this thing up. It's hard to even scramble it because it's always a couple moves away from being solved. So for example, this, there's four moves. I just, li I literally solved this thing by accident. That's how easy this cube is. Oh my God. Okay, so level one is complete. Now for level two. So we all know this cube is really easy, but if you're looking for a bigger challenge, then go on dailypuzzles.com.au to buy some more cubes and use the code TIBO at checkout to get 5% off. So now with level two, not only permutation of each piece matters, but the orientation of these white pieces matters. Again, shouldn't be too hard. Just one, two, three, four move solves it. Actually, now that I think about it, this would be a good tool to help two by two solvers solve more efficient first layers. Okay, let's see what I can do here. Maybe one, two, three solves it. So safe to say that I've mastered level two. Now onto the final, most demanding level, level three. So now the circles are on both the yellow and white faces which means that orientation matters on both layers. Now this is a little bit more of a challenge. I can solve the first layer like that. And for the second layer, for the first time, I actually have to use an algorithm, but again, not too hard. So really all you need is to be able to make a first layer and OLL, I guess. So here both layers are permuted, but the orientation is off. So I got to solve it like this. Okay, so now that we're done with level three, we can move on to the secret level four that I just made up myself. The final challenge I'm gonna do is try to solve this cube in under one second. But first, let's talk about why this cube is so easy. So the regular two by two cube has a total of 3,674,160 combinations. And you get this by taking into account the permutation of all the pieces and the orientation of all the pieces. But on this cube, at level one at least, without these stickers here, you only have to take into account whether a piece is white or yellow. Now to find the total number of permutations on this cube, I thought about how many white pieces would be touching each other or adjacent to each other. For example, there's only one combination where there's no white pieces touching each other, and that's this one, which kind of looks like a checkerboard. Now this is the only combination where two white pieces are touching and not a third. For example, here would be a, an L shape of three pieces. Here there'd be an L shape of three pieces. Now for the cases where three white pieces are touching, that'd be here with an L shape. Now you can have this case, this case, this case, or this case, all being different cases. And then you have the one singular case where all four white pieces are touching and that's the solved state. So in total, if my math is correct, I'm pretty sure we have seven total combinations on this cube, which is a lot less than three million, making this a lot easier. I forgot to mention this, but on level one, you can always solve this cube in two moves or less. Now I tried really hard to find out the amount of permutations if you include the orientation of the pieces. I just couldn't figure it out though. So I'll leave it to you to discuss in the comments how many combinations you think this cube has at level two and three. Okay, now for the biggest challenge of this video, solving this cube in under one second. Okay, my times in this are actually not too great. Maybe it's because I'm using a Rubik's brand, but I feel like if I get an OLL skip, I could sub one this thing. Ooh, 105. Oh, this is it. Two move solve, let's go. 0 0.45, I officially beat the two by two world record. Okay, not really, but this cube is super easy. So if you're thinking about getting this cube, I'd say it's a great purchase if you or someone you know is just starting out cubing or just learning how to solve cubes. Or for really small children, this is definitely a less daunting puzzle than the Rubik's Cube. And it's only about $8, so why not? Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. Feel free to subscribe for more cubing content like this, and I'll see you in my next video.